Well, hello again there, friends and fans. Raptor here, and welcome to our first look at the Great War Western Front, taking place, obviously, on the Western Front during the Great War, uh, fighting against the Central Powers, the Allied Forces, with the help of the French, Americans, Canadians, Australians, Indians, and the British, versus the Central Powers as well, with all sorts of tanks and gas attacks and the ability to build defenses and machine guns and more. This game is really robust and dynamic, both in its campaign and also its historical battles. There's a skirmish mode, a multiplayer mode. You can play with friends in the campaign. You can play against friends in uh, skirmish missions and multiplayer. And there's also historical battles, too, from the Great War, and lots of cool things to build and to uh, experiment with, such as massive siege artillery, uh, airstrikes and aircraft, and as I mentioned before, a gas and the ability to do uh, digging attacks, where you basically dig a tunnel, pack it with all sorts of explosives, and set it off under trenches, which are crazy things that actually happened in the Great War. Now, uh, there's two things you can do in this demo. You can play the tutorial, which I recommend not only for teaching you how to play the game, but after you complete the tutorial, you can actually play the final German Spring Offensive after the surrender of Russia in 1918 and defend as the Americans, British, Canadian, and French forces on that front and actually uh, defend against their attack and then counterattack to try to capture. It's long, it's beefy, there's a lot of text, but it's really important to understand how to play. The, the campaign is uh, going to be really robust too, with not only the ability to do like uh, parts of iron level moves in a hexagon like style, where you have to worry about supply and bringing in troops and getting them into position and setting up defenses and building defenses before the mission, but then also fighting the battle itself. So there's kind of like two levels of gameplay in one, which is pretty nice. So today we're going to start with the uh, second battle of Passchendaele. I think that takes place in 1917 towards the end of the year, and uh, we're going to try to capture some German positions as the Canadians. So join me now. If you guys want to see more of this game, make sure you spam the heck out of that like button. Let's get her up to... Hell, 5,000 likes, let them not be forgotten as we explore more of the Great War and all sorts of these different games that really keep it alive and uh, a lot of more information is being found out all the time. World War II gets a lot of uh, attention, but the Great War shouldn't be forgotten. So thanks again for subscribing. Thanks for becoming members. Let's jump in to the Second Battle of Passchendaele. All right, the Second Battle of Passchendaele from October 26, 1917 to November 10th. 1917. Belgium, October, 1917. Dear Mother, I'm writing to you on the eve of a great event. Conrad and I wanted to write something down for you while we had the time, and he's occasionally giving me words to add. I can't tell you where we are, but I can tell you it is far less pleasant than the other parts of Belgium I have seen. This place may once have been a fine place to live, but now it is nothing but a tremendous field of cold, wet mud and shell holes filled with water. I have seen many men fall into the mud and need three or four more men to drag them out. Not a blade of grass or tree remains, and the village that was once here is nothing but a few heaps of bricks. The Germans are well placed behind their ridge. We've been shelling them for days, but they remain resolute. Anyone who looks over the trench for more than a few seconds is shot. Those Germans may be many things, but they are not bad shots. To their credit, they do not seem inclined to fire on our stretcher bearers, who are working tirelessly in the knee-deep mud to bring back the injured. I must conclude this letter now, as our regiment is readying for a sortie on the lines. We must push the Germans away from the ridge and their guns. I pray this letter reaches you, and know that Conrad and I are looking out for each other. I remain your affectionate son, Len. All right, here are our objectives today. We have to capture X-Ray, Zulu, and Yankee, and also the far rear objective, which is the German command center. First, we're tasked with capturing Zulu up at the top and hold that position from German counterattacks. Now, the Canadians here are wildly outnumbered and are going to have to rely a lot on the techniques of rolling artillery. So we're going to try to get all of our troops here and hide behind a creeping barrage that will bring us all the way up to German lines. And then we're going to try to artillery the hell out of anywhere where there could be machine guns. Obviously, there must be something here with sandbags built up. We'll target any and everywhere where there seems to be sandbags. It's so amazing how, like, muddy this looks. It's like, oh, the graphics are muddy. Bro, this is literally just mud and dirt and overturned vehicles. It looks horrible, as in horrific, as the First World War was. Now, I'm also playing on medium graphics, and this is 
a game that's in development, so I would take all of what you see here with a grain of salt in terms of models and whatnot, but it is really cool to see, you know, things like balloons that we can actually utilize to spy on the enemy and put somebody in there for observation who will radio down to the truck. So we can use long-range reconnaissance here. There's, of course, also spying and more as the game goes beyond this. Remember, there's a large overworld map where the battle uh, was prepared for ahead of time with bringing in supply and all of these balloons and other things here, as well as all the Canadians that we can call on. We can also call in Canadian rifles and raiders to assist us, so the troops that are present on the map now aren't just going to be the only ones here when we begin the battle. But before we start, I'd like to uh, assign all, all of our artillery. Actually, we have to start the battle. Uh, but we do have five batteries of artillery, Canadian artillery, that we can then call in on the enemy. So the main objective will be to capture uh, Zulu here, flank to the right at Yankee, Try to swing by the German command bunker and then go to X-Ray over here. Now, I'm not sure if this game is one of those types of games where once you uh, complete the final objective, that it just ends and says that you didn't complete this objective. But we should be able to, you know, swing a right hook and then come right over to the left side and eliminate the German uh, encampment here as well. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started. And we'll try to hide behind that creeping barrage. Fall in! Feed the troops on victory. All right. Now this is going to be really cool to see all the other missions that Australians and uh, British and French and Americans were all involved in. That's going to be really interesting to see. We're going to pause here and find all of our artillery. Uh, guns 1 through uh, 5 here. Alright, they'll be able to assist us with both a uh, creeping barrage or rolling barrage and also the uh, standard artillery. Now we're not using gas at the moment so we don't have to worry too much about that. But we know the enemy is going to have in encampments here, or emplacements, so we're going to try to hit them with range. So let's try suppression fire on these positions. Fire all guns ASAP. Well, let's see, it's probably going to be a machine gun position there. And there as well. Oh yeah, we can already see the machine guns. Yep, perfect. And let's hit them one more time. Actually, we could use a rolling barrage to creep up the, uh, up the trench line. And that'll secure our left flank. Now, the enemy's also on the left flank over here, too. You can almost see where their trench lines are. You can kind of see some of the pathways. So if we and when we start to capture these trenches on the left flank, it's going to be brutal. Now, you're going to take insane amounts of losses in this game. Assaulting in this game is incredibly difficult. And, uh, you know, there's still some balancing to do and a lot of lessons to be learned from everyone who plays. But I think it's definitely going to be a game where the odds are against you for attacking, and it's going to be a miracle if you actually <laughs> gain some of that ground, which the Canadians did here, historically. All right, we can call in reinforcements at any time. These, uh, again, Canadian infantry and uh, raiders, and we can also call in air support, too. We can start a balloon bursting mission, or busting mission, and air superiority mission to stop the Germans from shooting down our balloons or to shoot down their balloons so they can't see us. So no bombs or anything like that. Another important thing is the company withdrawal. It kind of works like how it does in Company of Heroes where uh, if we retreat a squad before they're completely wiped out, we can get some of those points back to call in more reinforcements. So retreating is definitely important and I would definitely recommend playing on half game speed uh, for your first couple of runs. And I'm probably going to do the same too, but I'm not really here for a victory today. I'm not really here to, you know, show off my skill. It's more showing off the game and seeing how everything works. All right, artillery is being brought in like crazy. We're going to get all of our troops in position. Okay, so we can get into this area for this green area we're safe to go into. The barrage will start in front of us, so we're supposed to line up here. So don't, whoa, 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 boys. Don't go up there. Oh, yeah, we're already taking machine gun fire. All right, we have six minutes to take the enemy trench. We're going to let that creeping barrage continue for a while. We're going to hit him with another artillery barrage. We need to knock out those MGs. We're going to save a lot of lives if we do that. And this is clearing things like barbed wire, mines, enemy ambushes or whatnot. Nice. Wow, that's some big damage. One more machine gun eliminated. We got one on the right side we definitely need to deal with. Make sure everybody's in skirmish form. Good. And let's bring in the troops. Well, we can shortly. We're going to try to save as many lives as we can. We're going with that second wave of rolling artillery. We're going to time it. 
Suppression barrage ordered. Fire. With that suppression barrage. Boys, set for barrage. And let's set, hit those troops in the back there. Fire on that Ready position. For fire orders. It'll be our last barrage. Start the barrage. Hold them up. shot on Suppress enemy positions before we attack. Alright. Let the assault begin. Everybody come on up now. All right, let's get those trenches. Two Canadian rifles to the left flank. Canadians on the right flank. <laughs> Our troops need to keep moving. All right, everyone's pushing in. Melee combat in the trenches. We surrender. Raise the white flag. Put and pull those down. troops back. Stand by. Pull them back as well. Stand by for orders. Get in position. Ready yourselves. Get inside that trench, boys. All right, we need reinforcements. Arms up, boys. For duty. We surrender. Get a couple of raiders here. Reporting for duty. The white flag. Reinforcements reporting. Canadian reinforcements coming in from the right flank. We have new orders. All right, push over to that trench. Stand by for orders. And here come the Canadians. Around here somewhere. There they are, marching down the middle. All right, we hold most of the area. Now we can start preparing for the second offensive by getting rid of enemy positions here, where there might be sandbags, there might be MGs, and or enemy balloons. Let's try an air superiority burst buster. Ready burst that buster. Balloon Buster over here on the right side, too. We can't win. All right, let's go ahead and get out of that uh, formation there, boys. Be retreating automatically. It's retreat. Not retreat here. Let's try to take this position. One squad. We should be able to take them out. Go for this position as well. I would draw. Takes a lot of work to get close. Hold on, boys. Now we're going to have to hold for a counterattack from the enemy, so let's get ready. Pushing through. Ready on the fire oh, they're going over the top. I thought they would swing around this way. We have new orders. We have new orders. Let's make sure no enemies are around. Ready on the line. Try a new balloon buster. Oh, they've uh, they've actually brought their balloons down, so we won't be able to shoot at them, even though. We could probably pretty easily hit a target that large. But we are capping. Mission accomplished. Stand by At least soon. Alright, once we cap, we're going to retreat all these troops. Ready yourselves. On the line. Attention. Take firing positions. We have new orders. Get on that line, Ready boys. On fire step. Let's capture. Excellent. So we can get Canadian Raiders or Canadian Infantry. Oh boy, the Raiders are going to be quite important here for de delivering uh, grenades up close and destroying enemy, um, basically any sort of emplacement. So let's go with the Canadian Raiders. And that's our reward for our first objective. Stand by for orders. Everyone, pull back. All right. Good job, Ready boys. Yourselves. We're going to switch you out now. 
Looks like we're getting MGs set up automatically. Defend these flanks. All right, and I think the artillery stopped, so let's call Looks in some like more troops. The party. Reporting for duty. And we can also get ready to attack on the right flank. Which is a pretty juicy target, too. We have line of sight on enemy artillery and mortars. Old Pashadale against attacks. That's our current objective. Prep for barrage. We have our ready targets. for fire orders. Suppression fire, fire hold them up. Fire on that position. Hold your fire. fire. Teams ready. Load for area start barrage. barrage. Alright, we're gonna start hitting the Germans again. And let's go ahead and get ready for an assault on the right flank. Reinforcements reporting. All right. German counterattack. Look at how devastated those troops are going to be. Load light suppression shell. Ready for fire orders. Load for suppressing barrage. Wow, look just look at the losses. It is so challenging to attack. Suppression barrage order. We have our targets. We're going to run through that next wave. Four squads are probably going to hold against 20. That's crazy. It's amazing how much a machine gun can really hold them back. Things seem to be holding. It's too much. Retreat. Get all of our reinforcements back. I think they're able to see that. Do they have balloons up? They shouldn't be able to see those forces unless they have balloons up. Alright, but we've withdrawn and retreated from there with our reinforcements. So we'll uh, switch them to the right flank. Keep building up for an attack there. The center doesn't necessarily need those troops. We have arrived in await orders. Looks like we're late to the party. There we go. All right, so we've retreated those troops as uh, reserves up here. You then bring them to the right flank. You can definitely bring troops up to the front line and keep them in the back and not be attacked by the enemy. It's really wise to keep them nearby the front line, which is what all these trenches are for. But some of these trenches here are now destroyed and unusable. So even though there's literally trenches here, we can't really count on them to provide us with cover. These ones, perhaps, but they're likely not enough to A, be in a good firing position, and B, actually last long enough against enemy attacks to provide any cover. Artillery will take those out pretty easily. We've already beat the hell out of it with our own. Right, enemy forces are rushing that machine gun. Right, they're hitting our forces pretty good there. They stop somewhere in a trench. We got them. Fire on that position. All right, we'll hit them no problem. Yep, no problem. Ready for fire order. Light suppression of the barrage. Hold them up. Check the ordinance for barrage. Fire on guns. That position. Low for suppressing barrage. Very nice. Oh, enemy aircraft. Wow, they've got uh, laser-guided bombs. Keep our balloons up for now. Another German squad wiped out. Ooh, nice. Nice laser, uh, laser targeting. They must have a laser designator out there somewhere. Kidding, but obviously those are pretty accurate bombs. Where's the Red Baron? Take out those uh, balloons there. Another German assault. Suppression barrage order. Suppress at that location for fire orders. Let the barrels cool. 
Position fire ordered. Fire on that position. That position. Deal this with artillery. Wow, look at all the troops coming in from there. Start the barrage. Team's ready. Get ready, boys. The boys are holding on quite nice. were smart. They brought down their balloons again. Ready for fire orders. Hold them up. Low light suppression shells. Fire all the positions. Oh, it looks like the enemy's going to try to literally go right into where the flag is. Teams ready. Low for suppressing barrage. Fire. I retreat a little bit from there. Ready, boys. Forces have surrendered. Ready for fire orders. Hold them up. Yep. Don't surrender, boys. Suppression barrage ordered. Fire on that position. Oh, we'll get some units up here again. Reporting for duty. And that we've had a few withdraw. We're okay. All is well. We're holding just fine. It seems insane to just have two really weak squads hold, but damn it, we did it. Eliminate German command. All right, so now the reason why we put our troops here already is we only have 25 minutes to capture the main position here, and we're also supposed to hold the middle for a while, but we want to divert troops now to the right flank and try to capture our bonus objectives. Even if we don't succeed in capturing X-Ray, I'm going to try to go for Y, then the command center, and if they allow us, go to x-ray, because obviously flanking behind the enemy is going to save a lot of lives. And a lot Keep of time. We need to hold this position. Teams ready. All right, boys, let's get that artillery ready, ready to go again. Ready for fire orders. Our Suppress at that location. orders now are to try Hold to keep up. casualties to a minimum. Positions. We're not supposed to lose fire more than guns. 15 Teams infantry ready. squads, which I think we've lost maybe four in the defense. Okay, let's make sure those guns ready, are out of the way. Ready for fire order. Rolling barrage coordinates set. Hold them up. Set positions. Teams ready. Load for area barrage. Right, let's hit those guys as well. We have new orders. You guys can shift out. Withdraw. Stand by for orders. All right, they want us Get to secure position. the flanks, so let's make Ready sure we first secure the center. On the, line. on the line. There we go. Boy, very little health left in those trenches. Alright, we're going to enter a skirmish formation. We need to go. We're going to bring up another wave. Reinforcements reporting. We have new orders. On the double now. Alright, let's spread out our troops a little bit. We want to primarily hit this far right side as we can to give the enemy the least amount of support from the left side. Stand by for orders. Move out. Ready yourselves. We're going to try to split these groups a little bit. Ready for orders. And we're going to send in the raiders right away. Ready the line. We're going to try to capture the main line. Attention. Get moving. We're going to try to suppress on the right side. The brass wants this piece of ground. We have new And the orders. center. Let clear. those raiders in if we can. We hold this ground. You ready, boys? It's gonna take a few attacks. Load light suppression shell. Ready for fire orders. Check coordinates for barrage. Fire on the mortar. Let, Let them, them rest. rest. Set for barrage. Start the that barrage. was artillery guns. Load for suppressing barrage. Fire all Keep guns. their balloons down. Don't let them have line of sight. Bombing run. We're going to try to take care of their machine guns here. We surrender. Stand by for orders. We are withdrawing. Ready on the fire step. We need to hold this position. Ready on the line. All right, one of the balloons are down. Fantastic. Go for another one. Bust those balloons. We can't win this. Crazy challenging. Ready, boys. 
Your only tactics here are like World War I human wave tactics. That's breaking technology. Crazy. Some positions here. Good work. Reinforcements report. New information. Reinforcements ready. We have arrived and await orders. Okay, we're holding the center just fine, and we're starting to cap and hold. Cap positions. Suppress at that location. Teams ready. Be ready, boys. Ready, full barrage. We have our target. Ready for fire Suppression orders. Suppression fire ordered. Fire. Keep hitting their mortar there. Another enemy gun destroyed. We have new orders. Get our reinforcements up here as quick as possible to take that right flank. Ah, oh, the Germans have air superiority out. So it's a little bit like war game, you know, trying to keep air superiority and try to call out sorties that will bring down the enemy, but you can't change their job or give them orders in the air because they have Stand no radios, so there's really nothing that you can do to stop a, a mission once it goes out. Orders are orders and they'll follow them. Lower our balloons. Just in case the Germans have any fighters around. No, we're good. We already see where the enemy is with our troops already locked into the trenches. Alright, balloons up, boys. We surrender! Attention! Everyone pull back! We have new orders. On the line! Take firing position. Take that position. We have We're new moving. orders. Ready on the fire staff. Stand by for orders. Full withdraw. Get in position. Ready yourselves. Ready Take those line. trenches, boys. We have new Attention. intel from the front. Enemy fighters spotted. And they're calling in artillery. We're going to have our troops go far into the rear. See if we can flank that command bunker. Hold inside that trench. Alright. Some of our troops survived. I can't believe it. Alright, pull back. All right, get the Canadians over here. We're going to take that last position. Attacking our balloons. Orders to take out their pilots. Shoot them down, boys. Attention. Get in position. We have new orders. Okay. So now, oh, nice. Grenades are actually being thrown from our raiders there. We have new orders on the line. Let's take that position. Our troops should stay inside the trenches and fight them, but they're not. Wow. This is why it's important to play probably on the slowest setting, by the way, which is actually half speed. We were playing on normal speed before, and two squads were just immediately deleted by grenadiers. What we really want them to do is go through the trenches and outnumber the Germans and just keep coming at them. Like that. In order to then fight hand to hand. Pump in more troops. Looks like we're late to the party. Reporting for duty. And our troops up here didn't break we all the way through either. This. Wow, that's a challenge. Ready for balloon busting mission. Okay, we'll try again. So it's certainly a challenge if you uh, are thinking it's easy or whatnot, make sure you download the demo, February 6th it begins. If you're watching thinking this, oh, this, this shouldn't be that bad. Oh, it's, it's, a, it's a doozy and a, a lot of micromanaging. If you're a player who has played a lot of Steel Division or Metal War, uh, sorry, War Game Red Dragon, this will definitely be a game you'll be a little bit more familiar with as there's certainly more combinations here. Now, again, this is later in the campaign, too, so there's probably going to be a lot of experience that we're lacking at the moment uh, from just the overall campaign that 
those players will develop over time. We're going to try another attack here. It looks like the Germans actually can see us. The artillery there. We have orders. We're, We're going to avoid that artillery and try one last push. We should greatly outnumber the enemy and be able to take these trenches. Stand by for ready on the fire step. Ready yourself. We hold we'll push here. up. Attention. We have new Get orders. Position. We have new orders. Ready on the line. Enemy reinforcements are inbound. Teams ready. Load light suppression shell. Ready, boys. Prep for barrage. Wow, more reinforcements. Quite the fight over here. The enemy will barrage. actually counterattack. Start the barrage. Hold them up. And try to reinforce. For area barrage. Stand by for orders. Ready yourself. Firing positions. Oh, it's a mess. It's awesome. But practice will make perfect, which I think really will increase the replayability of these campaigns and the overall campaign, too. Right now, it's, we're at a preset scenario, but if we were playing this and got to the second battle of Passchendaele on our own, we certainly would be able to have a lot different tactics and possibly tanks at this point, even though, even if it's not historically accurate, we could try to prepare for it. Flank secured, excellent. Right, we're going to attack now. Reinforcements reporting. Let's bring down their balloons. We surrender. We have new orders. The brass Raise the white piece of ground. All right, let's push. Try to take that central position out. Oh, now we got artillery magically. Suppression barrage order. We can't win this. And we should have a new balloon too somewhere. We have new orders. Our reinforcements can now build up from here. Oh, look at that. They give us, like, 30 squads. I mean, look at all the reinforcements we're being given. I mean, these troops are meant to be really just... You need to call in, like, 10 of them just to gain an inch. Insanity. Reinforcements ready. Try to capture those guns with raiders. We have new orders. Let's go again. Get ready. This report just in. The brass wants this piece of ground. Enemy bombers inbound. Let's make sure they don't hit us somewhere. We don't want them to. Uh, it looks like an enemy bomber. Stand by for well, orders. push all together. The ground. only chance we got. Teams ready. Suppress at that location. We have our targets. Ready, boys. Check coordinates fire. for barrage. Ready for fire orders. Fire on that position. Hold them up. That position. Suppression fire order. Teams ready. Load light start. All these mining workers. Look at that. Our raiders knocking out their artillery. Beautiful. Look at that. That's cool. Trenches. Wow. Raise the white flag. Put your we walked past him. Looks like we're late to the party. Reporting for duty. Another wave. We're in the trenches, though. We have a foothold. If you've ever played Verdun, Tannenberg, or the new Azanzo, you know exactly what it's like. You pop out of those trenches, and you are a goner. Do another bombing mission on whatever defensive may be here. Finish off their guns. Skirmish formations. Pushing. 
trying to see if we... Uh, Looks like the troops won't automatically go into a skirmish format if they're told to attack or to go into a trench. Bring up those reinforcements. Arms up, boys. Reinforcements reporting. We surrender. Wow. Hey, stay in the trench. Just go from trench to trench. Don't don't go out of the trench. No. Okay. Wow. An insta wipe. Crazy. I want our troops to go through the trenches they have before. It seems to be rather inconsistent, maybe based on whether or not the trench is destroyed or if there's just too much damage. We obviously don't want our troops to leave the trenches. We want them to capture them and then use them to advance. Let's see, just quickly get to these positions. Perhaps staying in these narrow columns will actually be better for us. Let's try to move against enemy fire this way. Seems to be about the same. Also, these troops look Scottish with the uh, rifles crossed like that. Wow, there's going to be so many tactics to develop here. This is going to be really cool. Running low on supplies now. And artillery should keep them suppressed. Close to their command bunker now. Get in position. We have new orders. We Enemy reinforcements are inbound. Prep for barrage. Fire all guns. Ready for fire orders. Low light suppression shell. Hold them up. Arms up, boys. For area of our targets. Think they're coming through the tunnels. Stand by for orders. Continue battle. There shall be no retreat. Talk it up to experience. It's all part of the fun of learning. Trying to do better each time. All right, we've overrun them. And we've destroyed their artillery. And we pin them down in the north. We're out of range in a lot of places. We don't have artillery support here. We can't win we have new orders. Ready on the fire step. Arms up, boys. We're far into the enemy rear. That's crazy. We're way up here and can't do much. We're so close yet so far. Certainly giving us feelings of the uh, Great War itself, I'm sure. New orders incoming. Here's our additional troops. This position confirms. Ready for orders. Stand Get by moving. for orders. Give me my reinforcements. Stand by for orders. Ready yourselves. On the double now. Attention. We hold here. All right, last big assault. Let's give a shot with we everything we got. Orders. Crazy. And this is just going for a bonus objective. Imagine if we had gone straight in. There was uh, still, what, three defensive lines here. Here it's even more, but we've now diverted them from the center flank. Although if we attack the center, look at this. We've got yeah, that's that that's unwise. <laughs> that that's really unwise. And you only have an objective. You have to do it in eight minutes. So not attacking is not an orders. option. You've got to push. Get ready. All right. We have new. We got to do it. Also, I've noticed that we moving. can't chain orders together by holding shift. This so we kind of just ours. point a direction and then we go. We need to hold so the uh, officers can't give a command, Stand basically retreat. Orders. Also, these vehicles are really tough to destroy without raiders. It's just Surprise a truck, basically, with a spool surprised. of wire on the back of it, but it's really hard to tell your troops to, like, attack it. Unless you get, like, you very, very, very close. The raiders can attack those from a distance, but those position. typically can't be destroyed. Although we just did it there, but there's no way you're going to do that under fire. Like, it's not like you can get close to them and take them out, but... It's not like that's going to give us any sort of advantage. They have balloons over here. 
and it's just yeah they can see pretty much everything it's not going to give us much of a tactical advantage Attention! We hold this ground. plus we can outrun their artillery so we're good we have new orders position is ours. oh enemies counterattacking. hold them up suppression barrage order attention get in position ready for orders. in those trenches boys Wow, holy hell. Did you see all those dudes go flying? Oh, man. Those grenades are so good, though, against the trenches like that. You just need to get lucky to get raiders nearby. They're basically walking artillery then. Make sure we capture that trun uh, trench there. Oh, boy. Alright, we're overrunning them. By the time a unit is almost eliminated, it seems like the speed is exponential. They lose 10%, then 25%, then 75%, and then they're dead. There's not really much of a chance to save the squads. All right, final push. Let's do it, boys. Delete it before we can even get to the command bunker. Take firing positions. Arms up, boys. Wow, even with enemy under artillery fire, like four squads just wiped out. And we should have been able to pretty much easily walk along this uh, trench line and capture that HQ, but damn. It's a challenge, I told you. Certainly a good one to be had, that's for sure. <laughs> I love it. I am about my age and joined up when I was 17. Looking back. I was just a foolish boy looking for glory on the battlefield. The enemy had sunk our ships and trying to turn Mexico against us, and they had to pay. My platoon arrived in France in April of 1918. General Pershing organized our troops. My unit was assigned to a French contingent for training. Though none of us had any experience with the new way of fighting, and the trench lines were a bit of a shock. Well, I like what I see here so far. The tutorial campaign allows you to play around with tanks and pretty much every aspect of the game in terms of grand strategy planning and also all the different types of munitions and preparation. And there's a very huge tech tree, too, for things like trenches and aircraft and more. So if you're a big fan of Hearts of Iron, the campaign plays out a lot like that with, of course, more turn-based uh, uh, grand strategy map and then battle-based historical battles like what you saw just now uh, but also you can fight your own battles too well go ahead and download that demo today it's free no reason why not to check it out and uh, see what you can do against that historical battle and try out the tutorial as well it's a wordy one but it's worth it and i want to see more tanks and more from the uh, central power side and i want to see you back for more as well so thank you very much for all your kindness positivity and support and i hope to see you all soon for more of the great war western front thanks for watching